It's a great pleasure to be here with Joy Siang. My name is Michael Francis, Music Director of the Florida Orchestra, and we're here in our mini Rachmaninoff Festival, and we're delighted to be able to talk about it. Joyce, thank you very, very much for coming here. The last time you were here was before we all lost our innocence. It was <laughs> the last big concert before COVID, and it was Rachmaninoff Piano Concerto Number no. 3. The third piano concerto, I feel like I'm very much more of a protagonist sort of... Um, that's uh, thrown into the texture and I'm very volatile in a way and yes. there's it's a lot more, of... It's more of an odyssey in which we are antagonizing you, we are encouraging you, we are responding to you and we're sometimes afraid of you. <laughs> yes, it, it does take absolutely sharp turns and yeah. sometimes it's you just have to break away from the texture and that can be quite scary and there's so many tempo changes that don't have any lead in or lead out. Mm. So I feel like we're doing a variety of dances sometimes where we just have to completely um, sort of lock into each other and and not sort of be like, which way are you going Absolutely. to go? Maybe I'll go with you, you know, yeah. that kind of thought process. There's no time for that. So it's it's, it's a very thrilling journey when, when things start to just kind of um, lock in, but it's, it's a very um, firecracker um, like the piano concerto and a lot more, mm, Notes, I guess that does make it uh, a lot more or... notes. That is a wonderfully simple way of saying <laughs> uh, regarded as the hardest or one of the hardest piano concertos to learn physically uh, for the pianist. This is absolutely often called the Mount Everest or, or whatever metaphor you wish. This is no small beast in the third piano concerto. <laughs> Well, the notes are absolutely diabolical at times. <laughs> uh, there is probably in one one second, probably about 50 notes yeah. that's, that go by. And it is uh, truly challenging to learn and to memorize as well. And and then when you have that, the, the emotional content is so um, overwhelming that to be able to perform it and not worry about the notes, I think that's the, that's the very important chapter of Rachmaninoff where the, the head side, the logic of all the patterns need to be um, as obvious as telling someone your name. It can't be something you have to think about on stage. It has to be so crystal clear in your mind. So you just trust that the, the notes are there and all you have to do is you know, play with your heart. And well, so of that course, that's, that's the main aim of anything. Like a great sportsman, a great musician is get to the point where you're not thinking about what you're doing. You're able to react to what happens as well. It's going to be a wonderful chance for us at this Rachmaninoff Mini Festival to hear two mighty piano concertos back to back. So we look forward to seeing you. We look forward to making music with you, Joyce. Thank you very, very much. And the Florida Orchestra, we do it again. More marvellous <laughs> programme with world-class artists. See you soon.